Hey guys, in this video we're going to look at how to debug jest tests with VS Code. Um, I have a simple TypeScript project set up here. I'm just going to walk through some of the configuration I have and show you the launch settings and hopefully it will help some other people who are running into similar issues. Uh, so we'll start with the uh, package JSON. Um, if you followed along in the uh, article associated with the video, you see, I, I started off with the kind of standard approach that I have in the docs of uh, running Node with the debug options and uh, kind of manually invoking here. But I ran into some issues with taking that Chrome URL and uh, invoking it and trying to debug it in Chrome DevTools. So I'm going to show you an alternative way to debug, which uses uh, Visual Studio Code. Um, so we'll look at the Jest configuration right here. Uh, you'll notice this is a TypeScript project. I do have the types jest package, and I had originally started out using the TypeScript jest preprocessor, but ended up finding a solution which doesn't use it. Um, so here I use uh, override the default to actually don't even need to look for TypeScript files. Uh, normally you'll see something like uh, under underscore tests. Uh, don't need that either. So basically, it's a standard TypeScript project. We'll go look at the source here. Just have a random uh, fizz buzz. You can see types, and it builds into the dist folder. You'll see out here automatically has uh, declaration files and source maps. And let's look at the launch settings. So I had played around with a bunch of different configurations. You can see they're, they're commented out. They had all been different attempts. And I came up with this one, which seems to be working quite well. Uh, it's basically using the standard uh, node uh, debug launch. So you'll notice like if you just go into the configurations array and press Control Enter, it'll come up with a whole uh, IntelliSense for different types of configurations. So this one I started with is just a launch program. You can see it generates something like this. And normally you'd be choosing, say, the root of your node server or something like that. And it would output, uh, it uses the configuration to generate, generate a node debug command very similar to this. Um, but it automatically dynamic generates a port and instructs Visual Studio's debugger to communicate with that. So. We're going to remove that one I just generated. We'll take a look at this one here. This is basically saying run node debug. The start application is actually going to be Jest, and we'll run it in the interactive mode. Uh, I believe that's what dash i stands for. In previous versions of Jest, I believe this used to be called run in band, which basically says don't run everything in parallel. So that allows us to debug everything sequentially. Um, there's some other configuration options here. Uh, this just means make sure the TypeScript is built into JavaScript before we try to launch. Um, this one opens the debug terminal uh, once. If I manually close it, it will stay closed. This says uh, which files to look for when debugging. And this end file is just a kind of pattern I've been doing on all mine just to make sure I don't try to accidentally put secrets in or any uh, non-public information in here. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look. Here's the source files, the TypeScript files. I have a breakpoint here and the associated test. Uh, we just import the function. We're going to say uh, it should print out fizz for multiples of three, buzz for multiples of five, fizz buzz for multiples of both. It's a pretty <laughs> standard uh, joke interview question. So we're going to press F5, which is the default shortcut to uh, launch debug in run mode. So I'll go ahead and uh, press that. And this is going to launch the build task, which just regenerates all the TypeScript files. And you'll see if you look down here in the console, this is actually the command I've highlighted as the one it generated. It all looks correct. Um, you see we've actually bro broke, uh, stopped on the breakpoint in the test. And we're just going to continue into the fizzbuzz function. And you'll see if I hover over, we're getting the correct inputs for this particular test. I don't want to go all the way to 100 because then I have to construct that giant array. So we just limit it to 10. 
uh, just because it gives us uh, one of each use case, a multiple of three, a multiple of five, and a multiple. Actually, it doesn't give us a multiple of both. That would need 15. Uh, but anyway, we'll go through here, and you can see everything is debugging as normal. Press F5, we'll go back out, and you see we get the, the test output just as we'd expect. So this has uh, been working out well for me, and I hope it helps you guys. See you later.